Hello everyone and welcome to my latest tutorial. This tutorial is a kit swap or a jersey swap and it's just a partial one. There's loads of different uh, ways you can do uh, kit swaps and jersey swaps. All right, but in today's tutorial, we're just going to do something simple, uh, something that a basic Photoshop user can uh, follow along with. As you can see here, we've got this Man United shirt underneath uh, the ripped Borussia Dortmund shirt. Okay, and it's implying that, you know, potentially in the next uh, transfer window or at some point, Jaden Sancho is going to move to Manchester United. So without further ado, I'm going to get straight into uh, this tutorial. So first thing, create a new document. Okay, doesn't matter what you choose. Uh, on this one, I'm just using a, uh, a square canvas for Instagram. Okay, and you see I've got my two images here. Now before I, I carry on, I just want to mention this point now. So as you can see, I've chosen Jaden. He's going to be the main player uh, that we're choosing. Okay, and for this second image for the Manchester United kit, okay, I've chosen this picture of Scott McTominay. Now, the reason I've chosen this image, okay, is because of uh, the way the body shape is. So, if you look at Jaden, he's, uh, he, he's pretty much facing the camera, okay, and it's the same with Scott McTominay here, okay, it's very, very similar positions, okay, and the pixels are, are roughly the same as well when I've chosen them. Obviously, no copyright intended, I've just picked them uh, off uh, Google search. So as you can see, like I mentioned before, this image of the Manchester United shirt is uh, is full on. So just hide that a second, and I'll place Jaden down. Okay, I'm going to press Command T, and I'm just going to grow him in proportion, just like that. And I'll just slide him across here. So if you did want to, um, for an Instagram image, okay, just you can maybe use this space here for uh, some text or something. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get my uh, image of Scott McTominay up. I'm just going to take him above Jaden. Okay, when you drop them in, I'll press Command T, I'm just going to make him a bit bigger. Okay, and the first thing you want to do is you want to cut him out. So, what I would recommend is you cut the whole shirt out because then you've got loads to play with. But however, like you've seen in my uh, tutorial here, I'm just using this bit. So, I'm probably just going to cut straight across here and around. I'm not going to worry too much. So, I'll cut this out, hit the pen P for the pen tool. And I'll get back to you in a second. So as you can see there, I've cut it out okay. I've not been very clean all the way around here because I know I'm not going to use that bit. However, when you do cut out, I would recommend uh, that you do it uh, very carefully. Again, uh, different ways of cutting out. I much prefer to use the pen tool. Uh, it's nice and clean, nice and uh, crisp, and I think it always looks better. Obviously, make sure you've got the path selected and then uh, hit selection, further radius zero, anti-aliased ticks, new selection, okay, and then I'm gonna press command J or control J if you're on a uh, Windows, and you see there we've got a Manchester United shirt. Now the first thing we're gonna do is before we start editing it, um, moving it around, is go to our spot healing brush tool, okay, just over here on the left, press J, close my brackets, I'm just gonna get rid of that poppy there, there we go. And if you see we zoom in, it's done a pretty good job of uh, disappearing that. And then next thing we're going to do is we're just going to turn this opacity down a little bit just so we can see round. Okay, and we're just going to orientate it and size it up onto Jaden. So I'll probably go from the left shoulder roughly. Something like that. And and we'll go something like that, and we can turn that passy right back up again. Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to uh, press Command T again, right click, and then we're going to go to warp. Okay, and now we're just going to play around and line his shoulders up. It looks better if you do the uh, the whole the whole thing. Just pull it down a little bit down there. You kind of want it underneath the armpit. His chest is going to be around there, something like that. Uh, 
and just play around with the warp tool until you're satisfied. That looks good. But again, we're coming from the uh, from the left here, so this badge is looking a little bit out of proportion. But not too bad. And then we're going to hit enter there. So it's kind of looking uh, a little bit mashed, but it's okay for now. So this layer with uh, Scott McTominay now, we can just delete and get rid of that. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, what else we're going to do is this Jane Sancho can press Command J or Control J just to copy it, or you can just drag onto this new layer down here. Okay, and we're just going to take it up there and just hide it for a second. Make sure you've got this layer selected. Okay, and then we've got these papers, these ripped papers. Okay, and uh, what I'll do is I'll link, link them in the description below. And we're going to place them out. Now, I'm going to do this probably something around there. Maybe make it a little bit bigger as well. And kind of want the Chevrolet logo on there. A bit of the arm. And I'm going to hit enter. Okay, this Jaden Sancho layer. Create a clipping mask. And then I'm going to select it. And there you go, we've got our first rip there. Now you can see it's not quite aligned there. So I'm going to go back to the shear, press Command T, right click, go into the warp, just tidy it up a little bit. It's not always going to be perfect. I just need to play around with it a little bit. You can see a little bit of black, black there from his Dortmund shirt. Okay, but I'm uh, splitting hairs here. Um, but yeah, that's looking uh, that's looking good so far. And again, with this chest bit there, press Command T. Okay, these are the sorts of things you want to be looking for. Kind of just align his chest. And what we can do is we can just brush, uh, hide that away. So as long as I've got his chest aligned there like that, I can squeeze that in a bit. It's better to have the shirt just overlapping a little bit. There we go. And then just have that bit there. Yeah, that's looking good. Press command zero. Okay, and then we're going to do the same again. This uh, Jaden Sancho copy. Press command J. Just uh, hide it again. And then we've got another ripped piece. We'll go for ripped four this time. We'll spin that one around. And... Kind of want that one around there. Clipping mask and select it. And there we go. And then what you can do is press Command T and move it around. And that's looking okay for now. Maybe you just want to hide that batch there. So just play around with it, but I want to hide that brushy Dortmund badge. It's looking a bit better, probably do with command T in that and warping it up a little bit. There we go. It's looking a bit better and you can see it's aligned now on this bit there. That's looking a lot better there. Okay. Um, obviously just ignoring that bit there. Have I done that bit? Yeah. Well, can't see. And in fact, I want to rotate it around a bit. Just want to hide that badge. There we go. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're just going to uh, 
brush them away so I'll create a layer mask just on this little icon down there this little uh, window pops up hit the brush tool okay you want a nice hard brush for this part make sure you got your flow and your opacity up I'm just going to paint away just there we're also going to do this bit down this side okay if you just do too much you can always Press the export and so it reverses it. Make it a bit smaller. Just paint on like that. There we go, it's looking good. And paint this away as well. And what I'm trying to do is, I'm just trying to align just underneath his arm there. So then his arm, you'll see. There we go. Looks a bit better. So now his arm's overlapping. So the effect we're going to do is we're going to give that some shadow just there. So that's looking uh, quite good. Um. Right, happy days. So now we've got our effects. So what we've done is, okay, we can get rid of our background layer. Okay, we've put our Jin Sancho picture in. We've got our picture of Scott McTomney. Okay, we've put that on top. We've cut around, like I recommend, you uh, you cut around most of it. Then we've put a ripped piece of paper on down this bit here. We've put a copy of Jaden Sancho, clip, clip mask to it. So basically clipping mask is, it works directly on the layer above. Happy days. Then we've put another ripped piece on top. We just positioned it carefully and then we've done another one. Again, every image is going to be different, so just play around with it. But as you can see here, what I've done is I've got trying to get the effect where the shirt's going underneath the arm there. I'm going to put some shading on just, just in here shortly. But again, I'm, uh, I'm happy with how this is looking at the minute. Um, what we can also do is, because we've got a layer mask here as well, um, again, if it's not quite lined up, Hit B, make sure you've got black selected over here on the mask. And just paint away anything, just so it lines up. And just check around, and that's looking okay there. Just bring it down a little bit. Okay, it's just small attention to detail. Some people, uh, they might not notice, they might do, probably not at a first glance. And you see it's worked quite well because I've aligned it just there with his chest and the shirt, okay, and I've done it there with the collar as well. It kind of just blends in as well, so again, it all just uh, adds to the effect. So it just shows you the importance of choosing your images carefully. Um, right, fantastic. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to um, screen print it, so I'm going to press Command, Shift, Alt and E, or Control, Shift, Alt and E if you're on Windows. Okay, and you can group these players, this, uh, these layers here. Select the top one. Hold shift, select the bottom one. So they're all highlighted. Press Command G or Control G and you've just grouped them there. Okay, you can just hide that group. Wonderful. Okay. What I'm going to do now is to make life easier, I'm going to cut around uh Jaden now and I'm going to make him an extra layer just to help me with my shading. Um I just always find it helps. So I've got my layer, I'm gonna hit P on my pen tool, okay, and I'm just gonna cut around and there uh, I'll get back to you in a sec. Okay, so uh, again, I've just cut around Jaden. All right, um, not too worried about his hair or uh, anything like that. Okay, it's just purely uh, just so I can just do some uh, shading. Okay, um, at this point now, if you're doing some sort of uh, edit where you've got a, a background and or or whatever, so some sort of manipulation, right? So you probably take care to go around his uh, his hair. But in this case, I'm just using the same background. So make sure, like I like I had before, got the path. I'm going to select, uh, click selection, same as before, zero pixels. Okay, I'm going to get my marching ants, as I like to call them. Press Command-J, because I'm on a Mac, or Control-J if on a Windows. And, so make sure you've got your layers uh, highlighted. Press Command-J, there we go. And you see, uh, I've just cut him out there. Now, what I meant by uh, doing the shading, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new layer. Okay, I'm going to clip it. So I'm just going to hover over, 
hold alt and select or you can just right click and just create a clipping mask there make sure you've got black selected hit the brush tool okay nice soft brush and use my bracket keys to grow it and I'm probably going to drop the opacity down to about 80 and I'm just going to drop the flow down to 2 or 3 we'll try 5 okay and just underneath his arm there and you can see the difference that that's made straight away okay it just adds to the effect again you can just paint down his side Again, just on the inside of his arm, just accentuating the uh, the shadows. Again, same uh, on his arm here. Okay, might be a little bit too strong. Just got to play around with it. Don't be shy, just to keep clicking it. Okay, and all the effects. So on the uh, on the image you've seen at the beginning of this uh, tutorial. Okay, I've done all these creases. I've spent a lot of time. Just uh, adding to them, just accentuating them, and then if you've got that, that black shadow, okay, you can just add to it as well, and it just adds to the effect. So that's why I've uh, I've chosen just to clip him out, and then I can add my shadow. What I've also done just that pectoral muscle from Scott McTominay, okay, again, it's just something that, yeah, people will be looking at this image, they'll be looking at the Manchester United crest, their eyes naturally drawn to it, okay, and that shading just helps so rather than just do a simple shirt swap just by adding the extra shading and whatnot it's just adding to that image um, adding to that edit if you will and uh, again it's just increasing it works quite well with having the black from the brushy Dortmund shirt okay you can just add it and just blend it in on the shade in there and uh, it just blends his arm in a little bit more and probably just come back a sec. Just blend it in. And I'm I'm pretty happy with how this has turned out so far. So I'm not gonna dwell too much on that. I just wanted to get the point across that yeah, you can uh, you see there just where I've cut it out, it's still highlighted a little bit. Uh, just be wary of that as well. Um so yeah, that's it, looking fantastic. And that's pretty much your kit swap, uh, what you want to do with your kit swap. What I did uh, on my uh, other edit, as you can see, just to help it blend in a little bit more. Okay, uh, I added a levels. I just went over to levels. I just dropped this middle slider down a little bit. Slid this one across. Just increased, give it a little bit of glow. Again, it just blends the two shirts together as well, just on top. Did a curves gradient as well. And just on the bottom left corner there, I just dragged that down slightly, lifted that edge up, played around with the reds. Same again, just click that, lifted the red up, gone for blue, I left the green. Okay, just give it a little bit of a tint there, as you can see, a bit of like some sort of hazy Instagram edit you would get. Command Shift Alt and E for a stamp or Control Shift Alt and E if you're on Windows again. Create a smart object, right click, uh, convert to smart object, sorry. And then I've just added a bit of grain, bit of noise, add noise, 3%, click OK, Command Zero. And there is our kit swap. So I hope this tutorial was uh, satisfactory enough for you. I hope you enjoyed uh, watching it, okay? Like I said, just take your time. Um, don't rush it. I have kind of rushed this for the purposes of the uh, tutorial. As you can see, I've spent considerably, uh, probably an extra half an hour on this one, okay? Um, yeah, and I did a camera raw filter as well. Um, but again, it's entirely up to you how you want to play around with those settings. Um, so yeah, there is our... Um, our shirt swap tutorial what I'll do is um, I'll have a look and I'll potentially do a, a full kit swap tutorial or uh, I'll do again swapping colors over and swapping crests over for football teams as well so I know I've had uh, three or four people asking me about kit swaps 
and it's always been my plan to get this done. So thank you for watching. If you're still watching at this point, uh, please smash that like button and subscribe. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate all the support. And I'm having lots of nice messages again off Instagram. Um, people say how much I'm helping them with the work, which is really motivating and it's uh, great to see. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial.